welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Shaded by Jade. Say, it's your girl, Lini. Uh. Hey guys, so today is gonna be like a regular Megala vlog. I wanna do my coffee station inside of my apartment. I have a Keurig and I just wanna do that little area. So we are gonna go to Home Goods today and see what we can find. Y'all, look at my dare to have hair. Like I have not done anything to this hair and I think it looks pretty good for low maintenance. Um, don't laugh at me, I need my lashes done. I really need these lashes done. So I'm probably gonna get my lashes done maybe like tomorrow or something. But me and Celine just have some running around to do. We got her some clothes. Mm -hmm. We got her some clothes from Target and like some pajamas and stuff, but I still want to take her uh, shopping. She has a lot of gift cards and stuff from her birthday, so I want to check out a few stores. But yeah, so today we're just going to go to Home Goods. We might get some lunch. Um, I'm going to be cleaning up, all that good stuff. Nothing really too fun, right? Mom life. Stop. Wait a minute. Oh! But before we get into this video, I want you guys to watch this quick little try on haul that I got from this company called Jerly She. They sent me a few items which I actually really, really like. So this is outfit number one. Y'all, I love this outfit. This is so me. This is something I will wear to like run errands, work out. You can even dress this up a little bit for like a date night. But I love this. Like this is so me. this next outfit I really like because it's kind of inspired by like the Palm Angels hoodie but it also came as a set it came with like these black pants as you guys can see they're really stretchy they're really cute like I love these pants but yeah this is something like bro chill I have on the same pants from the previous outfit but when I picked this shirt out I was thinking to do a look like this but of course not with my bra out but my nails are too long and it was really hard for me to button the buttons in the middle to cover my bra. But I'm just showing you guys how I will wear it. And I'll probably wear these with some shorts. Maybe with the Javinci Shark Lock boots. That would be cute. Or you could get it oversized and wear like a cute little crop under it and wear it open. But it's so many looks that you can do with this shirt. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on If you know me, you know I love a good oversized t-shirt. I really like this shirt. The color is really cute. I just don't like the rhinestones at the top, but I could probably take those off. But this is something I will wear out, dress it up. So much things you can do with this. So if you on a budget, Jerly She got the Essentials hoodies, y'all. Who's gonna know? <laughs> I wish I would've got this in a bigger size, though, because I love my sweatshirts oversized. But hey, to each its own. If you like this look, go get you one. Okay, welcome back to the video. So, Celine already ate her breakfast and stuff. I'm about to put her in her stroller. Y'all, I really need to get her a new stroller. I just don't want to give up my doona. Like, it's just so convenient. Like, and another thing, I need to go get a new piece for my mic. So, my sound might sound a little different today because Celine lost the piece to my mic. Once babies start walking, they start taking everything. But I might vlog while I'm in the car too because I got to talk to y'all about some stuff, little life update, all that good stuff. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. Say it. Say, let's get straight into the video. Do you, ha do you have any updates? Do you have to tell them anything? Do you have to tell them anything? Any new life updates? Yeah. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Oh no. Oh, look at my makeup, you guys. So I didn't even really do much to my face. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I do this look because I have not even been feeling pretty with a whole bunch of makeup on. So this is like my new little quick, make me look like a little bit of something type of look. But you got me going crazy. When I order Starbucks, well, when me and my mom order Starbucks, we do like a very Laguna Beach. Did you guys ever used to watch Laguna Beach when you were younger? 
I used to watch the show with my mom all the time. That's where Brody Jenner and Lauren Conrad, like they all started out from that show and then it went to the hills. If you know, you know, comment below. But anyways, right, mama, you don't know nothing about that. But when I order my Starbucks, I just put on like my LA Laguna Beach girl voice. So check in with me. Hey, thanks for choosing Starbucks. My name is Trip. What's yours? Hi, my name is Jade. Can I have a tall oat milk with a uh, tall, I'm sorry, can I have a tall brown sugar oat milk? Brown sugar oat uh, shaken espresso? Yes. Yeah, can I do the salted caramel cold foam on top of that, please? Salted caramel cold foam in there. What else for you? And one second. That will be all. All right, that's gonna be 648 next window. Thank you. Thank you. So normally when I get this drink, my camera is dark right now because of the lighting. Okay. So normally when I get this drink, um, I do it with the vanilla cold foam, but I did the salted caramel cold foam. So let's see what it tastes like. So it is a brown sugar oat milk espresso with salted caramel foam. I really couldn't get my Laguna voice today because honestly, I didn't know what the hell I was ordering. So. It wasn't giving Laguna, it was giving Karen. <laughs> At this beauty, yum. Summer feet, they can't take me. Dreamy is a tough girl, so. We are in. Look at her little cup, y'all. So cute. Pull up with me. Jizzy, fuck with me. These are the trays that they have. I'm thinking about this one. I like this one. Look, Celine got her phone. Let me see your phone. Take a picture. Share. You don't want to show them your phone. She's hiding. Say hello. Hello. Anyways, guys, I don't have no luck. I'm going to go check out a different one. Because I can't find nothing I'm looking for. I'm liking this, but that just looks too heavy. And I don't know. But this one is really cute. I like this one. Okay, guys, so I found this and I found this. I'm gonna check another home list. But I might get different holders for it. I found this one too. And then this one. I think I like this one right here. So I'm gonna try to grab that. Okay, guys. So I've been finding some stuff. I can't wait to go home and see how I like it. But I'm about to go to um the other home goods to see if they have anything else. I went there yesterday and I didn't find anything. But now that I have an eye of what I'm looking for, I'm gonna go back there. But I have a few things that I got that I really like. Look at this. Do you like this? Oh hell no. She just chewed. No. You really gotta have patience So, unless it's Bath and Body Works, I only buy white candles or candles that match my house because I'm really picky. Yeah, so is she. We do not like candles that do not match our house. Oh, but this is laundry day. That might be cute, but it don't match. Why am I like this? 
Look at this candle. This is too cute. This is too cute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I love that you yeah. get some food. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> What's her mom buying? What's she buying? Um, what mommy buying? Guys, I was looking for these and I just found them. I just was speaking to her and look what I found. This is going to be so cute. A little snack break. You know, mom's got to stay ready. Got her bib and a little snack, right? Okay. So I wanted to talk to y'all real quick. I'm listening to my gospel and I was just praying. And I wanted to tell y'all what's been going on. So we was thinking about moving because where we live at y'all, the rent just went up skyrocketed. And listen, I'm all about saving a few coins. And where we live at, trust me, it's nice, but it just wasn't worth, at the time, me thinking, I was just like, it's not worth paying these few hundred dollars to stay here because we got a really good deal when we moved there. Mind you, we have to pay a lot of extra expenses like parking, just a whole bunch of stuff living in Atlanta is expensive as fuck and mind you this has always been like my dream to live in where we live at now um and I was stressed out like okay well maybe we need to move looking for apartments and stuff was so stressful um and then I was like okay well with my office I was already thinking about letting go of my office because Celine is really busy now like walking she doesn't like to be with me when I'm at the office we don't have no family here for people to watch her and stuff like that so Celine is at my hip at all times so I'm like okay it would just be easier for me to ship from home because I'm not making products anymore so it would just be easier for me to ship from home so by me getting rid of my office helped me save more money and we just thought it would be best to just stay where we at for like one more year um because moving is stressful but i'm saying this to say that i was so stressed out when i tell y'all i was so stressed out to the point where like i wasn't eating and to some people y'all might think jay that's not a big of a deal but me it's hard for me to adapt to change i don't i'm not good with change and i'll be the first to admit that it's not that i don't like it it's just I don't know it gives me anxiety everybody has their own little things like why would you go hold on y'all everybody has their own little triggers what gives them anxiety so I was really stressed out y'all like I wasn't eating really like I just felt like a failure because I'm like damn I don't want to get rid of my office I, I like I always wanted my office space but then again I'm like thinking reasonable like Jay you're not even there so you're paying overhead for somewhere that you're not there like that only when you ship you're there and I be in and out um but I'm saying this message to tell you that if you ever have to backtrack it's okay a delay is not a denial and I really had to learn that I was praying 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 talking to God writing my thoughts down just manifesting certain things and me and my boyfriend came to an agreement like we're just gonna stay at our place especially now that I'm gonna be working from home now with all my inventory and stuff so I'm cutting some overhead down like I'll be the first one to tell you like y'all know I keep it transparent as fuck I don't flex on here act like I'm super rich or I just got all this money like no I'm an adult and I have a child so now thinking logically is most important for is most important to me I want to be able to do what I want and not have the stress of too much bills to where I can't enjoy myself you know what I'm saying so I like to think logically I I, I have a daughter I have to start being able to save saving for her emergencies whatever the case may be so i would never live beyond my means and i'm just telling y'all i'm just making this message to just let y'all know again a delay is not a denial like sometimes you got to take a few steps back to get ahead and i was telling myself like damn i'm stressed out about something so small people have way bigger problems like I don't know I just I was just feeling like a failure y'all I don't even know how to explain it I was just feel like a failure but it's like I didn't fail I've done everything that I've wanted to do so far and I have so much more to go and it's like I'm proud of myself for 
making a decision like that because I could have been staying at my office and you know it just would have been pointless the whole reason why I got my office is when I was making the skincare um, because it was just becoming too much at my house but now I got a little area where I put my inventory and stuff and it's just much easier for me to ship while I'm home with Celine and I could be you know a full-time mom at the same time so as moms you got to do what you got to do don't ever feel like if you have to make adjustments around your life or you may have to backtrack and do certain things that's only to get you 10 steps ahead I feel like the most successful people the most bossed up people sometimes you got to go back to the drawing board so if there's something that you got to do to get here whether that's you know getting rid of certain bills getting rid of certain overhead or if you got to go back to get a job or if you got to put your baby in daycare whatever it is that you got to do to take you to the next level do it just do it don't don't worry about what other people would think about you don't worry about um being a failure like none of that shit matters none of that shit matters just get on your shit and run into them later that's how i feel like just get on your shit you know just work hard get on your shit boss up and you'll run into them same people later i know that kind of sounds confusing but i'm just saying it as a terminology like, like whatever it is that you want it's always going to be there there's always going to be a bigger house there's always going to be a bigger office space there's always going to be newer cars there's always going to be newer bags there's always going to be new everything so it's like just wait your turn and i feel like god was really talking to me telling me like just to slow down a little bit because i was becoming a little bit stressed going back and forth to my office with Celine then you know we got the dog now running my businesses doing YouTube that shit was starting to become a lot a lot now that I have everything in just in one household I'm just so at peace and we made a decision like I said to stay at our place for one more year and come up with a game plan so I could finish working on my credit doing certain things to get me to the next level and but like I said, by me getting rid of my office, it puts a little bit more money in my pocket. So where it's not like a big deal. It's on my heart to give y'all this message. Like, and just share what I got going on. Because I'm very transparent. Like I said, I would never be the one to flex like I'm something that I'm not. I'm, I'm just transparent as fuck. That's just me. I don't even feel like myself if I'm being something I'm not. Um, but with an entrepreneur, you know, managing your money is very important because your income is up and down but yeah so enough of all that i'm about to go back into this home goods but i really hope that this message uh touched somebody today all right y'all so now i'm about to listen to kendall ray's crime stories while i you know put together this little coffee station so enough of me talking and just watch me get to work i have to listen to stuff while i'm cleaning or doing a task because y'all my attention span is terrible but anyways watch me get into it
So now I'm about to make me a coffee because your girl got a coffee station. Do y'all have a coffee station? Oh, you do? Okay, good. I'm part of the club now, bitch. What's up? <laughs> but no, I feel bougie as hell having a coffee station. But I'm just cleaning up today. I'm supposed to get my lashes done tomorrow. Um, make sure y'all shop shadedbyj.com. You know there's a sale always going on. But I'm about to show y'all how I'm about to make my little coffee. And maybe y'all can clean with me today. I don't know, like, what y'all want to do today? Let me know. Oh, y'all just want to chill in the house? Me too. Me too. So y'all can just chill in the house with me today. And we just going to clean up and prepare for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Monday. I really hope I can put this video out today. But also, some of that stuff, y'all, I got everything from Home Goods. And excuse my washer. I got everything from Home Goods and the flowers from Michaels. But if y'all can't find the stuff at Home Goods, I have an Amazon link, which I'm gonna link below, where I put together some cute Amazon stuff where y'all can make your own coffee station at home and just get the stuff from Amazon. Duh, I got y'all back. Um Yeah, and also I'm getting rid of some of Celine's old clothes. It's really nothing much to today, so. Anyways, let's make this coffee. When I'm sitting there alone I'm by myself, I can tell you when I think you might be with somebody else. Hey, 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 You need to clean up your room, okay? And your robe is too small. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, so excuse my hair. I still need to do my TikTok. I'm running a little bit behind because I've been doing laundry too, but my floors are nice and clean. If you're a mom, let me know if you can agree. But I feel like ever since I had Celine, I started to get OCD me. with cleaning. Like, especially now that I have the dog too, this is what I do to my floor damn near every other day, if not every day. But it's just a lot. But I need to get some orders together and write down my new inventory list. But I'm about to make me something to eat real quick because I have to stop eating at six o'clock. So hopefully I make it. I'm just gonna make some salmon, cream spinach, and the mashed potatoes that I be using, y'all, it's already done. Um, but they're really good. So uh, let's go do this. And I'm going to let Celine play and have a snack while I do this. So I know y'all love my cooking videos. So I'm going to do a quick little cooking video showing y'all how I make my um, spicy brown sugar salmon. So I'm just seasoning with seasoned salt, white pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and olive oil and just rubbing that all in and then i'm going to put it in the oven for 350 for about 25 minutes and i'm just washing my hands now
So now I'm about to make the cream spinach. Yes, I already washed the spinach. I washed the spinach inside of the bag. I'm going to be using two bags. If you want to make more, of course, you just double what I'm doing. I don't know measurements, y'all. I just know how to cook, okay? So after everything cooks down, that's two bags. I drained the water out. You have to drain the water out or it's going to come out really soupy and nasty. Add some butter, some heavy cream, and your seasonings. You know, I use seasoning salt for everything, but... That's what I put in there. Seasoned salt, pepper, and you want to add cream cheese too. But I think y'all going to see me add the seasons. Yeah, there we go right there. But yeah, so you're just going to cook that, add a little bit of garlic. That is garlic puree. I like garlic puree way better than chopping up garlic. So yeah, just mix that all up. Then you're going to add some Parmesan cheese. After everything is melted, we're going to swap out the salmon and put in this whole cast iron in the oven for about 15 minutes just so that everything can thicken up. I'm just adding a little more Parmesan on top, but enough of me talking about this actually just So while I was cooking the spinach before adding like all the dairy stuff, I just put some spinach aside with some olive oil and salt and pepper for Celine so that she could have something to eat and snack on too. Mm. But she's vegan and y'all, I mm. have to encourage her. You hear me saying, mm. Mm. <laughs> But anyways, so now we're about to make this sauce. You're just going to need some butter and brown sugar. That is it. Oh, and parsley. Um, you know, it's really to your liking of how much brown sugar to add. But this is how much I add it, okay? But you can make it how you want to do it because, yeah, I don't, that's not really a lot, you know, for me. But you're going to mix it up until it becomes kind of like a syrup. And make sure you get rid of all them little clumps and stuff like that. And then you're going to add some parsley. Now, you could do this part last because if you add it in like I did, it's going to turn your sauce green. So when y'all see me drizzle the sauce, yes, it's going to be green. Don't talk shit. But to avoid that, just add the parsley at the end to make it look fancy. Because don't play with me, bitch. Y'all know my food be good as fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all see the green part that I'm talking about. That's what makes it look a little bit weird. But it was delicious. Is eating a popsicle, a strawberry popsicle. Is it good? Is it good? She loves it. Here, give me that. You need that part. Um. There you go. Mmm. <laughs>
this is the end of the night. I am so tired. It's only 9.22, but I plan on getting up early tomorrow because I have a lot to do. So what I'm doing right now is I have two books that I write in every morning and every night. So this book is where I write down just like my thoughts and all my manifestations. I write this at night and then I write some in the morning. And then I have a to-do list book. I think I got this from, I think the dollar store, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, I don't remember. I think the dollar store or, no, I got it from Marshalls. But in this book, let me just show y'all a clean page because I don't want y'all in my business. But this is like a to-do list of things like that. And then if I have like doctor's appointments and stuff like that, I just have that as reminders. Or like birthdays, things like that. I have that as reminders in my phone. Sorry if this stuff sounds really bad. I am waiting for the piece for my um, microphone because Celine was playing with it and I don't know where it's at. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I like to write down my to-do list at nighttime so that when I wake up in the morning, I already know what it is I have to do and just check things off my list. I feel like if you write your to-do list in the morning time, you might forget or you might start to feel overwhelmed because you're trying to figure out and you're trying to cram too much into your day. Like, And the easiest way to get things done sufficiently without feeling overwhelmed, because I feel like when I pack too much in my day, I feel overwhelmed. So do like two things in a day. Especially if you already gotta work, listen, or you have a business, do two big things today. Whether that's like, for example, like, okay, you know you gotta clean your bathroom. Or you know you have to go grocery shopping. Or you know you gotta mail a bill or pay a bill, you know? Whatever the case may be, just start with two or three things. And when you accomplish those little things, then it'll just be easier and easier. Opposed to you keep cramming so much in one day, you're going to feel overwhelmed. And you're just probably not going to feel like doing anything. So try that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys like this vlog. I'm going to show you all the kitchen and stuff. I swear, I don't know where this weird OCD shit be coming from sometimes. It's ridiculous. But... Um, I'm waiting for my dishwasher to finish so I could put the stuff away because I have dishes in my sink right now. And I just vacuumed the floor one more time before I go to bed. Um, yeah, so before I go to bed, like, I have to have everything right. But yeah, let me show y'all. <laughs> so, the living room is clean. Um... I just washed those pillows. The lighting looks really bad. Why does it look so bad? I don't know. I had to stop eating because I'm fasting. So I can have like sparkling water. That's all I drink when I'm fasting or tea. It's Pellegrino and it is the tangerine and wild strawberry. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I don't know how people don't like sparkling water. Like, it is so good. When stuff be tasting diet, like, you know, like the flavor waters and maybe like zero calories, that shit is nasty to me because that sweetener is just nasty. This is no sweetener. It's weird. It tastes like strawberries and tangerine, but it's not sweet. It's good. But anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day tomorrow or I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. But we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. I know I say that every video, but literally we're like less than 300 subscribers away. And I just want to tell y'all I'm so thankful and I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And it's only up from here. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, I hope this video helped you out in some type of way or I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next vlog.